Hey babes, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video in my channel, which is your channel, we have Huda Beauty in the house. And if you're ready for today's video, keep on watching. Mwah! video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so go down below and click the little button so you can become part of it Huda beauty just came out with the chicken tint blush sticks and yep we have all the shades on there the packaging is so pretty look at this so colorful and vibrant especially this too yes it's plastic but the grip feels like this soft silicone material so they're 25 dollars for each made in italy they're buildable creamy hydrating and it claims to be a stick that instantly melts into the skin first i'm gonna be swatching them in the back of my hand and then i'm gonna show you how all the shades look on bare skin yeah i know how i am with my makeup no makeup looks most of the day during the day that's when I let my skin breathe but I still like a little bit of blush a little bit of bronzer I like to look snatched but without makeup and I know like me there's a bunch of yeah same thing with my babes that they love makeup but they don't really like to wear a bunch of makeup one of the reasons why I love to show you complexion products with and without makeup and then the second reason is if the product shows on your bare skin when you're showing your perfect imperfections hyperpigmentation acne marks and all of that then 9 out of 10 the product is gonna look stunning with makeup on top of foundation so as I showed you before it is available in five different shades suitable for all skin tones and types also picked up the face and cheeks blush brush it is $29 and it's made in China oh, so pretty I love this little clear looks like water type of situation that this ferro have i love when my nails look clear like this it's supposed to be a tri fiber brush with synthetic bristles it got an angle tuft designed to fit the contours of the cheeks and provide buildable application and this brush is for cream products you can also use it for contour because of the shape of the brush it will give you a pretty precise application this one is Perky Peach. It is a warm, dusty peach. So pretty. Proud Pink. It is a cool bubblegum pink. Coral Cutie. It is a puppy coral. This one is the most vibrant one out of all of them. And this one is Rebel Red. It is a bold, rusty red. This one is really pigmented. This one is Huda's favorite. And then Body Berry. It is a moody plump. You guys know how I feel about plumpy purple blushes like this. They're not my favorite ones. We're going to start with the lightest one. This one is Perky Peach. And, and let's blend it. Oh, wow. It does melt into the skin. Look at that. Look how pretty we're looking. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. I want to see if it gives me a little bit more color. So I already built it up. This is it. It's not going to give you no more color than this. See the little pretty gold shift that is giving the highest points of my cheeks? Oh, and it's making my skin look so healthy. I don't know. This one is very light. I think I like it more for like a peachy, hot, lighter situation. But if you have light skin, this one would definitely show up on you. And do you see how by only applying a little bit of blush in this high area of your cheek already gives your face on top of the finishing? This side look way more lifted than this one. This one is Proud Pink. Oh, I like this one. Just gonna pick a little bit more. So normally on medium skin, peachy blushes look better, but I like pinky blushes more. It looks pretty. <laughs> yes, and you only need a little bit of this one. This one is really pigmented and it's showing up on my skin tone a lot. Cora Cutie. I think this one is going to be my favorite shades out of all of them. Like the camera's not doing it justice. This packaging, it's neon, neon. Okay. Let's do this. See, it automatically gives you a, like that glass skin finish. I don't even need to build this one up. If I build it up, it's going to be way too much. But yep, yeah, I like it. Ah, fuck it. Let's build it up. Why not? <laughs> oh, I like this one so much. 
this shade on a dark deep skin complexion is gonna be beautiful let me apply that on the lips damn this gave me a lot on my lips look at that we got these two left, Rebel Red and Body Berry, which is the two darkest one out of all of them. Look at that. That's really, really pigmented. Let me apply this one on this side. Yeah, I'm cleaning my brush in between colors. Even the darker shade blends in beautiful. Look at that. Of course, I don't have to build this one up, but... Look how much pigmentation they have on the lips. Let's blend in Body Berry really quick. Let me tell you that for the lips, they're popping, I can't complain. And they feel super hydrating and super comfortable on the lips. Let's try Body Berry on the lips. I forgot to try the two lightest one on the lips. But look at that, you need the tiniest bit for your lips. So we finished up the application on bare skin and I love the way they look without makeup But let me go washed up finished up my complexion and I'll be back so we can try on top of makeup I'm back. I applied a little bit of makeup something very light and I'm gonna be picking up the lightest shade Which is perky peach. I'm wearing peach. So let's apply this on the lips We need a brown line. Be back. This one is one of my holy grails from Mark on the shade Cork. It's just a brown lip liner. Let's go back to it. And boom. Yeah, I like this. A lot. What I have on my lips match with what I have on my eyes. And I love the way they feel on the lips. Okay, so you already saw how all the shades look individually. And now I'm going to be doing like a little cocktail. I'm going to start with Rebel Red. And I'm going to pick up a little bit with the brush. And I'm going to apply it right here on the highest, but on the back of my cheek. Right there. Now I'm going to be picking up Proud Pink. And I'm going to apply on the highest points of my cheeks. And I'm gonna go right on top of Rebels. And then now we're gonna pick up the brighter shade, which is Coral Cutie. And I'm gonna apply on the apples on my cheeks. See, it gives it a pop. This is my under eyes and also this little area right here. And these blushes, they're blending beautiful on top of powder. It's not lifting up my foundation, any of my makeup. It's not leaving any patches behind. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Cora Cutie with the tip of the brush for my nose. Then now I'm going to go back with Perky Peach, the lightest shade, the one that I have on my lips. Look how pretty it looks on my lips. I'm going to pick it up with my finger. And I'm going to apply it on the highest points of my cheeks. I'm using this one as a highlighter. Yes, see, this is definitely doing the job as a highlighter. This is with Perky Peach, and this is without it. See how this side looks way more shiny, but it's not emphasizing texture, nothing at all. Wow, I love it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, and I'm gonna blow right here on my cubes of bone. And on my nose. Oh, look how pretty it looks on the nose. All right, so before I go ahead and give you my final thoughts, I have a couple of blushes that I want to compare. This one is Raspberry from Makeup by Mario. And then I'm going to be comparing it to Pro Pink. Raspberry from Makeup by Mario, it's more pinky, and this one from Huda, it is way more glowy than this one. I have Express from Jacqueline Hills. This one from Jacqueline Hills looks really matte next to this one from Huda Beauty. 
and it's just more pinky. I won't say more pigmented because it's not. The one from Huda Beauty have a lot of pigmentation. It's just more shinier. And when it comes to this one and this one, the one from Jacqueline Hills, it's more of a darker pink. This one from Makeup by Mario, it's more of a neon pink. When it comes to the packaging, they're exactly the same. That's so funny. They're the same size, same thickness, same everything, just different finishes. This one from Jacqueline Hills have seven grams, and this one from Huda Beauty got five grams. To be honest with you, I'm comparing them so you can have an idea on how the shades look, because when it comes to the finish of these new blushes from Huda Beauty, they're way more glowy than what I already have in my collection. This one right here, it is Work From Milk, and then this one, it is Perky Coral. The one from Huda, of course, it's way more glowy and it's more peachy. There's another one from Jacqueline Hills on the shade Snood. It's like an orangey one. And it's way more brighter than Perky Coral. So let me swatch this one next to it. No. I have Zero Two Soleil Nage from Tom Ford. And no. Next to the one from Huda, the one from Huda looks brighter. And we have this one. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. And I don't have a blush stick with a similar shade, but I do have Power Hour from Tower 28 that it's like a plumpy, berry situation. So let me swatch it right here. And no, this one from Huda, it's like purple, purple. Right, so moving on to my final thoughts, no BS. What do I think about these blushes? I love them, and a lot. I think they're very unique, they're pigmented, they're creamy. I love how hydrating they are. I love the way they look on the lips. They give you a nice, pretty color with a beautiful glow. You don't have to worry about them being glowy and emphasizing texture because they don't emphasize texture at all. I think they're super cool for on the go or traveling. You can have them for your cheeks and your lips. They're super easy and quick to use. They blend like a dream, no struggle. They do feel like a second skin. They're super lightweight. They don't feel heavy or makeup-y. They don't feel tacky or sticky. You do feel something they're cream but they're super comfortable on the face favorite shades it's definitely coral cutie and proud pink and you already know that i love the way they look without makeup on bare skin it's a hit but one thing i'm gonna tell you is that when it comes to this brush this is definitely not a must have you don't need this no. you can blend these blushes with any other brush that you already have in your collection for this type of cream blushes i love to use my 125 from fenty beauty or my classic cheek from sonia and jean or your fingers well not my fingers because i just don't like to use my fingers but these blushes they blend beautiful with the fingers once to the end of this video comment down below the keyword bananas so i know that you made it to this point so don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about these blushes do you like them you don't like them and i'm dying to know if you already tried them out thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much to the moon and back and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever so so go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos. Mwah! See you on the next one.